Hey, what is up, Smooth Skins and Mongos? So nuts here, and in this video, we will be discussing underwater exploration and combat. Now, in Fallout 3 and New Vegas, there were bodies of water that we could swim in, but there was really no point in doing so unless we needed to get somewhere or retrieve something specific. Other than that, the underwater exploration was very limited and bland, and it was basically an afterthought. Fallout 4, on the other hand, looks to be changing that. Now we know there's a perk dedicated to swimming from the Endurance special video and also from the perk chart released a couple weeks ago. We don't know the name of it yet, but a lot of people seem to think that it will be called the Marine Boy or Marine Girl perk, which isn't too far-fetched. It will most likely reduce the amount of oxygen you use while underwater, allowing you to stay under for much longer it may also give you the ability to swim faster than normal and at its highest rank it could give you a blueprint to craft a rebreather that you can explore the depths of the aquatic paradise however long you choose to without needing to come up for air the reason I say this is because in one of the concept arts at E3 you can see what looks to be your character in first person wearing some type of mask swimming towards something off in the distance It'd be like the rebreather you get in New Vegas from Jack after the quest of Volaire at the Boomer's Hideout, a.k.a. the Nellis Hangers. Once you received it, you were able to equip it and hang out at the bottom of the sea forever if you chose to do so. But like I said before, since there is nothing enthralling about Fallout New Vegas' underwater environments, there was really no point. Now Fallout 4 is most likely going to have a lot of bodies of water for us to explore with plenty of incentives to do so. There's most likely going to be rare loot such as armor, weapons, ammunition, hollow tapes, and maybe even one of the 20 bobbleheads we need to collect to make our characters more badass. I'm sure we're also going to find some crates filled with tea in the Boston Harbor as a reference to the Boston Tea Party because I doubt Bethesda would leave an important part of Boston's history out of the game. It's definitely going to be an easter egg. Now the aquatic environments are probably going to be really fleshed out similar to that of GTA 5 because in that game there were tons of articulate details such as vegetation, sea creatures, crash UFOs, shipwrecks, dead bodies and more making it feel vibrant and alive and worth exploring. Of course Fallout 4's underwater world is going to be much more interesting since they are so good at environmental storytelling. But don't expect to just find wrecked ships and loot down there. There's most definitely going to be mutated amphibious creatures to make your exploration much more dangerous. Now we know there's going to be Mirelurks and Mirelurk Queens that we'll have to worry about, but they won't be the only threat. In the concept art they showed, it looked like there was a massive squid and it looks terrifying as hell. But for some reason, I really want to come across it in the game and just murder it, chop it up, and have some fresh irradiated calamari with a nuka cola and maybe a side of Rataway. Mm mm mm. Sounds delicious. <laughs> but uh, I'm also hoping for a nice plethora of other mutated creatures like maybe some eels, piranha, sharks, alligators, garfish, anglerfish, and many more. I might be pushing it a little too far with all those, but you never know. It's Bethesda. They like to go all out. They like to go overboard. They like to be overly ambitious, and they love to surprise us. Now, to fight those nasty creatures, you're definitely going to need an aquatic arsenal, and hopefully we're able to find or at least craft a harpoon gun or maybe a waterproof assault rifle, shotgun, or pistol. That would be awesome. What would be even more awesome is if we could use our power armor to explore the watery areas in Fallout 4, allowing us to reach certain depths that we couldn't do normally. It could also make it where you can see more clearly underwater, that way you wouldn't miss out on anything on the bottom of the sea. It would also, of course, make you much more damage resistant against the dangerous threats lurking beneath, and could also give you special weaponry to handle those type of situations. But, um... There you have it, people. My thoughts on what's going down with the underwater exploration and combat in Fallout 4. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button and leave a comment if you feel inclined to. I'll definitely see you guys on the next Fallout 4 video. Sayonara, Wastelander.